Alrighty then, so we are doing our first official update on the uh, 70s and 80s TV slash movie car group build. Um, we're working on the Stingray from the TV show Stingray, which you probably would have seen a photo on the slate that we had up at the beginning of all the shenanigans. But um, here is basically how we kind of do our layout for when we're going to be doing a mass spray job. So everything's been primed. And everything's looking really good. The only thing that's not here is the body and the hood. Uh, those are waiting for wet sanding, and I just didn't feel like doing that right now. But uh, we have every single piece grouped with the color that we want to do it in. And we see that we have the white primer and the camel yellow over there. Those are going to be for our shock absorbers. Uh, and then over here, we see a little red jar. Uh, we don't have, to me, it doesn't have a color that's very, very close to uh, Chevy Engine Orange. So we had Mrs. BG mix this up something last night, and she's um, she's pretty good. I mean, that's... Camera's picking it up a little bit lighter than it really is, but I really think that that came out pretty good. So we have a custom mix for that. I'm not sure what her ratios were for that because I wasn't around for her. She started mixing and, and doing concocting and stuff like that. I, I, I had to go to the bathroom. So <laughs> I wasn't around for the actual mixing. When I came out of the bathroom, she's like, there you go. I was like, Jesus, that would have taken me all day to figure out how to do that. But uh, it is what it is. So we also have some flat clear here because some of the uh, aluminum pieces that we're going to be doing in the silver leaf color here and uh, a few other pieces We'll get a flat coat uh, to help those look more like a, a raw aluminum rather than a polished aluminum. So let's get on to painting. Okay, so after maybe about an hour of painting, uh, we stopped for a while because we had a visit from our buddy James over at Scale Model Experiment. Him and his missus stopped by for a nice little visit, which is always welcome. So we got pretty much the base color on everything so we have uh, German gray on our frame and then uh, we got some uh, camel yellow on our shocks and then some semi-gloss black here and there uh, we got a flat black for the interior tub and then on the bottom we did the German gray also so that matches up with the chassis uh, we have our wheels nice and uh, looking kind of nice there we need to do a little bit of filing around the outside edge there I didn't notice that until we started spraying those but uh, hopefully that won't damage it at all when we do some filing around there to uh, make them a little bit rounder. And uh, I think we'll do a, a black wash on there so we can get uh, get that star pattern to look a lot more presentable. Our engine block, we just finished spraying. Uh, that's the custom color that Mrs. BG uh, mixed up for us. It's looking, uh, it's looking really good. I like that. So I've got that set aside and then uh, everybody else here has its base coat on there. Um, so my thing is that once I'm done with the spray can, uh, it goes over here on the other side of the bench upside down so that we know that we've used it and we don't grab it by accident when we go on to the next one. Um, and then of course we were using our respirator and then um, all kinds of neighbors out racing around today, I guess. Uh, so yeah, uh, we're basically ready to uh, let, let's just, just let the stuff kind of cure up for a while and then um, go in and start assembling, I guess. Uh, we did do a nice flat coat on our on our uh, intake manifold, and I didn't realize it, but the carb is molded to that. So we'll detail paint that later on. But yeah, everything's looking great. Uh, the plastic took the paint really, really well. I was a little bit worried about it because it seemed like it had like a little bit of an oiliness to it. But we soaked it in uh, some Dawn dish soap for overnight, and then uh, uh, it was doing pretty good. So the uh, the body, uh, I'm going to do that on a, on a differently on a different day because uh, we're going to go off and meet some friends here for dinner in a little while. But um, we're going to do some wet sanding on that, make that look nice and pretty because, you know, painting black is like painting with uh, chrome. It's got to be perfect, so... So we're uh, putting all of our time and effort into that. So here's our valve covers. Nice and raw looking aluminum. I like that. It's looking good. All right, we'll check back later. Okay, so it's Monday. It's like 2.30 in the afternoon here. And um, we're just finally getting some bench time started. Uh, we're working on the interior for the uh, 65 Corvette that we're doing for the TV slash movie car group build. And... Um, we just have the seats in there right now to see how well they fit, but um, I probably will do a little bit of a coat of future on those to get them a little bit glossified, 
but um, super basic interior detail. Uh, I did do um, like some Sharpie on the uh, seat belts and on the floor mat to kind of give those a little bit of contrast. Uh, we painted the shifter boot and then did some uh, outlining of, uh, uh, like I don't know what this tray is supposed to be down in here, but it looks like a little ashtray or something. So um, yeah, just doing a, a, a little bit of detail. Yeah, there's some some injector pin marks in here, but um, I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> I'm in a good place with them. Um, but the interior is not too far off. Um, we are going to get started on the dashboard here pretty soon and as it turns out that's supposed to be let's get a, a pointer this is supposed to be silver in here um so that's no that's not a problem we'll take care of that we have uh some gauge decals to put in here for the uh the clock and all the other clocks um we started working on the radio a little bit um i always like to do the outline in silver and then go back over this area here with um some darker green sharpie just because remember the radios back then have a sort of like a green tint to them so uh, that's what I do there and then we'll hit some of the some of the little light areas here with like uh, orange or green or something like that for the blinker indicators the engine we glued a couple more bits on there and it's looking really really good nice and glossy very very pretty uh, we painted up our oil filter orange timing cover and water pump uh, uh, our fake water pump we kind of painted just uh, that's just a first coat of paint on there so we got to go back and do one more uh, we did our freeze plugs and then we just roughly did our starter motor uh, we're going to go back and um, clean that up a little bit better so it looks nicer but uh, yeah we have the uh, intake manifold and the valve covers on so those look really really good I like that flat aluminum on there that's that makes it look real racy I think and then with the chassis um we're doing this thing here where we glue in one spring and then we're going to take it apart and then glue in the other spring because of how difficult it is to get all that sort of uh, matched up and finagled and stuff it's like herding cats trying to get all that together in one go so decided to do one spring and then just take off the uh, the lower a arm assembly and then go back and then glue in the other spring i think maybe that'll help out and then we'll do uh, some brush painting on the upper A-arms so they can match. And then uh, we'll be ready to do a little bit of dirtying on the chassis. We got our rear suspension mounted. We just have to put our shocks in, but we want to wait till after we get some, some weathering done on there before we put our shocks in. And uh, I think we'll be good. Um, I'm kind of thinking about painting this area here, uh, semi-gloss black also, to match up with the rest of this. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be chassis color or what, so... It is what it is, and uh, you know we're sticking to it. But uh, yeah, we're we're cranking this one out here as fast as we can uh, because you know shortest month of the year. Uh, here's our our air cleaner. We did do like uh, the best we could with like a um, a chrome type of uh, paint on there, but that's not looking awesome. It's just okay, but you know it is what it is. So there we go, guys. Thanks for tuning in again, and uh, we'll catch you in another update here in a little bit. Okay, so it is still Monday, and it's um, about quarter to five, so I think we're going to call it quitting time. I've been in the bench here for about two hours, uh, goofing around and doing some stuff. So uh, the interior, we got our seats kind of glossed up a little bit. Uh, I did change the little button color on the seat belts. Um, I thought they were blue, uh, but I thought the older cars had like a blue button in the center, but um, I'm probably wrong, so I switched it to red. I got to clean that up a little bit. Uh, however, our dash is done. Um, I really like how that came out. I love the uh, the little gauges that we stuck in there uh, from Best Metal Car Parts. Um, looks really good. And uh, we're getting close to buttoning up the interior there. We're working on the steering wheel now, doing a couple of coats of um, blurry paint. <laughs> doing some uh, uh, silver paint on there. I got one more coat to put on there so we can get that all evened out. And then we'll move on to the wood for the steering wheel. We want to do like a, a nice wood tone steering wheel. Um, engine is fully assembled except for the uh, the hose pipes and the exhaust pipes and the manifolds. So uh, we did clean up around the uh, starter so that looks a lot better now. And glued on the uh, front pulley and we're just going to let her float. We're just going to let the alternator float. 
Uh, not too worried about that. Um, with the chassis, we have both the springs in place and glued, and we're just uh, uh, waiting for them to set up, and then we'll glue on the lower A-arm assembly. But in the meantime, we did paint the upper A-arm assembly, and that's, that's looking all right. So, yay! Um, nothing going on in the back end here yet, but we will start doing... Once we glue uh, this piece on here, we'll start doing some... Um, uh, some weathering and well, just a little bit of light distressing on there. Uh, kind of like what we did with the firewall. We started barely putting on a little bit of wash. And then I think we'll just detail paint the rest of that and be done with that. So we're looking really, really good so far. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, we'll talk to you a little bit later on.